Republicans have relentlessly been trying to impeach Joe Biden on baseless claims that he took bribes from foreign countries, now doing so without any evidence and any attempts to do so have been massively unsuccessful. However, House Democrats have launched an investigation that yielded over a 150-page report that proves, while president, Donald Trump took a whopping $7.8 million from foreign adversaries. Now let's speak from Republicans. Now, in this report, they find receipts that show payments from foreign officials and foreign government entities to companies that Trump owns, multiple companies that Trump owns, which violates the constitutional clause, even for the president, on accepting gifts and benefits from foreign governments, with over $5 million coming directly from China, somebody that people try to say Joe Biden's taking bribes from and is in their pocket. Well, here's Donald Trump, $5.6 million from China, not a peep from Republicans. It's ironic, given how big of a deal it is for Biden, to have what what was it the the three thousand payment from Hunter that oh we have to find out what this is this has to come from the CCP in China it was repayment for a Ford Raptor well how are you going to explain this five point six million oh they probably just won't talk about it at all well here's Katie Porter perfectly laying out that hypothesis. They've been in those hearings about Hunter Biden and about President Biden. And the fact is, you're exactly right. They have no evidence showing that President Biden received payments from foreign actors. To the contrary, we have millions and millions of dollars, hard evidence showing that this money went to President Trump. So it's hypocrisy for Republicans on the Oversight Committee to look the other way, to ignore Donald Trump's violations of the emoluments clause of our Constitution, and then try to fabricate against evidence to the contrary allegations, baseless at this point allegations toward President Biden. The Oversight Committee, headed by James Comer, and overwhelmingly Republican is tunnel vision focused on Joe Biden without any evidence. And at this point, they're turning that entire thing to a charade for political gain. Uh, impeachment is starting to lose the power that it once held. The investigation has gone on for months now. Months and months and months. It's been completely stalled at this point with the only evidence that they have to bring forward is, oh, Joe Biden talked to this guy. And it's like, well, what they say in the conversation? Oh, n nothing really bad. Or, he was here at this time. And it's like, okay, well, what did he do then? Oh, well, he, he didn't really do anything. Or, okay. And any physical evidence that they brought forward has been quickly debunked, like the Ford Raptor payments that I mentioned earlier, where Hunter was just paying back a few thousand dollars for a car payment. Really just shows good morals. And that's what happens with any payment they go to investigate. It seems to be people paying back Joe Biden for lending them money to buy things that they needed, like necessities for his family, really just shows that he's a stand-up guy. So great job there, Republicans. They're just desperate to find something, to find anything on Joe Biden, because the dirt on Donald Trump just keeps piling higher and higher and higher and higher. And it's just the only way that they're going to have a chance to get back in power is to get even. So that is where their focus is on, and they care more about that than actually helping their voters. It's sad. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-leaning as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video, because the only way we become a society is together.